this is Sunny, a one-year-old lab, non-spayed female Labrador retriever that presented to me, and this is a great case for a syndrome that happens commonly in labs called cold tail. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of different names for it. One of them's cold tail, limpy tail, a bunch of different names. Uh, but I want to take you through a scenario that kind of explains this. So, Christy, so can you give me the history? Um, Sunny has been in pretty heavy training for duck hunting. She's been doing a lot of swimming, long retrieves, several hundred yards um, for two days in a row. And the second day on the way back from the lake, her tail drooped down. <laughs> and I was concerned about it, so wanted you to see it. And... Um, had a suspicion it was cold tail, but just wanted to make sure. Okay, and so basically, as you watch her walk around, you can see her tail's real flaccid. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't, she has no balance with it. She doesn't move it around very well. If you try to make her sit. You can see it bothers her. She, she uh, wanted to reach back. She doesn't have good control over it, and it causes a lot of frustration in these dogs. And so. Let's watch her sit. Sit. She doesn't want to, okay? No. There she goes. She has to because position it, it to the side. She positions it to the side because it's frustrating to her. So what's going to happen? As a veterinarian, uh, an animal like this would come in, and basically there's a couple of differentials. One of them is this, limpy tail. The other one is some kind of trauma to the tail. Uh, so sometimes you may have to x-ray it. You may have to decide if this tail may be broken uh, but most of these when it's a lab and it's got a limp tail and there's a history of exercise then you pretty much have your diagnosis generally these animals are like I said frustrated they're painful um, and we're not sure what causes it there's probably some genetic uh, component to it but basically the vessels and the nerves back there for some reason they don't function properly and it could be a neurogenic reflex uh, it could be some kind of a vascular problem we just don't know but basically you got to control the pain control the inflammation and it will resolve over about a 10 to 14 day period sometimes longer sometimes shorter it just depends so hey Christy was there one thing you can say that contributed to it so in other words, did you increase the swimming? Did you do anything that may have caused this? I would say the swimming, and especially swimming a long distance, probably was the biggest thing. Uh, I would say that um, the fact that she was having to use her tail while uh -huh. she was swimming was a pretty major okay. so, contributing factor to okay. it. And she's been doing a lot of swimming retrieves, but this was like 300 yards. She probably did it eight times in the past two days. Okay. And so uh, you ramped up the swimming. Yeah. Was it in a, a pond or where was yeah. it? In a, well, in a, yeah, a pretty okay. large pond. And how long have you been swimming her? She's been swimming her whole life, but this was a pretty, you know, such a farther distance. Okay, okay. And uh, asking her to do a lot more. Yeah, And okay. it just was uh, too much. Okay. All right, so I hope that explains, and you can see a clinical presentation of what we call Limpy Tail, <laughs> which is a, that's a pretty cool name for uh, what we're seeing. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.